still on vector analysis vector calculus in this video we're going to talk about the divergence of a vector function okay the divergence of a vector function if i have a vector function a equal to a x i plus a y j plus a z k the divergence of the vector a dive a which is equal to del dot a okay this is an operation is equal to this i into partial partial x plus j into partial partial y plus k into partial partial z okay dot the vector itself a x i plus a y j plus a z k so this operation actually involves dot products now we are considering partial partial x partial partial y and partial partial z as operators not multipliers and for this dot product this is how to complete dot product okay this is i partial partial x a x i so multiply the coefficient of i in both that will be this times this partial partial x of what a sub x plus this is j partial partial y and this is a y j so multiply their coefficients together that will be partial partial y into a y all right plus this is k partial partial z and a z times k so let's multiply the coefficient of k together that will be partial partial z into a z a z all right so this is it for the divergence of vector a now look at this question if a is equal to x squared y i plus x y plus y z all into j plus x z square k we are to determine the divergence of a at this point okay the divergence of a is i into partial partial x plus j into partial partial y plus k into partial partial z dot the vector a which is this s squared y i plus x y plus y z times j plus what s z squared k okay so the divergence of a is equal to this let's take the dot product now we have partial partial x of x squared y s squared y okay plus partial partial y of everything here that will be partial partial y which is the partial derivative with respect to y of this x y plus y z plus okay so partial partial z of x z squared okay so let's evaluate this this is the partial derivative of x squared y which respects to x okay so it means that we are going to keep y as a constant differentiate x squared with respect to x that's 2x this is the partial derivative of x y plus y z with respect to y that means x and z will be kept as constant so let's differentiate this first term here x y with respect to y that means we'll keep x as a constant differentiate y with respect to y that is one here we'll keep z as a constant okay then differentiate y z with respect to y that's one here we are differentiating x z squared with respect to z that means x is a constant so differentiate z squared with respect to z 
that's 2z. So the divergence of A is 2xy plus x plus z plus 2xz. Now, what, what is the divergence of A at this point? At the point 1, 2, 1, okay? This is for x, this is for y, and this is for z. So we're going to make a substitution. The divergence of A is in place of x, I write 1. In place of y, I write 2. In place of z, I write 1. So this is 2 into 1 into 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 into 1, which is x, z is 1. This is 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is what? 8. So this gives the divergence of A at this point. Okay, is as easy as this. Given f equal to x z square i plus 2x y square z j plus x z cube k. What is the divergence of the vector f? Okay, let's just go straight. The divergence of f is this. Partial, partial x of x z squared x z squared plus partial partial y of 2 x y square z 2 x y square z plus partial partial z of x z cube x z cube you see i didn't bother to go through the dot product process okay if i should go through the step of determining the dot product okay i'm still going to obtain this so let me just evaluate it from here. So the divergence of f is this. The partial derivative of x z squared with respect to x. That means we keep z as a constant, z squared as a constant. Differentiate x with respect to x, that's 1. The partial derivative of 2xy squared z with respect to y. That means we will keep 2xz as a constant, then differentiate y squared with respect to y, and that will give us what 2y plus the partial derivative of xz cube with respect to x. That means we are going to keep x as a constant, differentiate z cube with respect to x, and that's 3z squared. So, what will this give us? z squared. Okay, this is 4xyz and this is 3xz squared. So, this is the divergence of the vector f, is a scalar function, the function of x, y, and z. All right, this is how to determine the divergence of the vector function. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel, like, and share the video to your friends and to your course mates.